Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's happened. I've got Shulker Box competition, huh? There seems to be a little bit of an Elytra fireworks shop over there. Hmm. We may need to go investigate this, my friends. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6, where today we have some things to do. Wait, what's this? Sea lanterns? What 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 would be that? Prismarine bricks. There appears to be name tags on the ground. I don't understand what's going on, guys. But check out this awesome looking build from Tango Tech. It's awesome looking, yeah, but uh, I've had a lot of comments. I've had a lot of comments since the last episode saying that he's doing a certain thing. We may have some competition here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Elytra. We've got Firework Rockets. Ah, here we go. There's the offender. Shulker boxes. Six diamonds. Hmm. This guy, this guy is uppercutting me or undercutting me. Wait, what's the actual time? I don't actually know. What's he doing here? Has he got a whole but? Oh, oh, those are those are some pretty quick sales. You see, I've I've literally only just watched Tango Tech's episode where he released, you know, this shop. So yes, Tango, you've started something, buddy. You've started something. Oh yes, you have. Freaking Tango Tech undercutting my shulker box prices. He started a war here. This was him, not me. Well, maybe I can check out my own sales and hopefully we've got something good going on here. What? What? What's this Tango? What? If he did this, I'm. Uh oh, he's just started something bad. <laughs> What? It can only be this. Oh, you son of a gun! Who did this? Has it got a name? No, it doesn't. Hey! No! No! Yeah, what? Wait. Wait, did, did his dead body just poison me? What? I have never heard the like. And let's patch that up. Yes, yes, yes. I actually legitimately don't know who actually put that down there. If it was Tango Tech, then I'm I'm coming after him, man. I'm coming after him. Anyway, so let's uh, check out our sales real quick. Holy moly, we are still winning in terms of the uh, in terms of the diamond race against Tango, even though there isn't actually a diamond race. Uh, I'm just speaking unofficially. <laughs> oh no! Right, eight diamonds each, or two for fifteen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I know what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> Freaking Tango Tech's freaking awesome looking shop. That really is actually kind of awesome. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to grab one of these if I really want to get some stuff done. Uh, well, actually, I might get two of them because I don't trust myself. <laughs> freaking competition. Alrighty, guys, I think it goes without saying. Obviously, I'm completely joking with me being like, like under the weather, I guess, or anything like that. It's all friendly, my friends. We've got friendly competition. Guys, we're gonna undercut Tango today. That's our plan. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. We're gonna go to the end. We're gonna get ourselves an absolute ton of freaking shulker shells, and we, we're gonna have a much better amount of stock in terms of shulker boxes. Oh, yes, we are. Alrighty, guys. So today we're gonna be playing into the man. Man. Oh, yes, we are. Right. <laughs> Let's get in. There we go. All right. So we are looking for some mending, and we're gonna get it via these. Oh. 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 All right. Well, it looks like we're not getting... I don't know. We could probably trade the potatoes and carrots. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're going to be playing into the man in that we're going to have all of these microtransactions. That is right, my friends. We need some mending books because I'd like to make mending armor because I feel like that would be a good idea. Alrighty, guys, and that is just about as much as I'm prepared to spend here, my friends. As you can see, um, there are no potatoes left, and I've left a couple of rows of carrots behind, uh, just so other people can use it, and I've re-unlocked the trades. There we go. Good guy, Python, right? I also got a bunch of pumpkin pies, so I could reopen some of the trades. But look at the amount of emeralds we've got, guys! Look at this! We've got, like, four and a half stacks and 37 levels! Good lord! Good freaking lord. Okay, so, uh, I'm thinking six mending books, which is 60 emeralds, and then a whole bunch of other stuffs, I imagine. Uh, oh yeah, I'm breaking three. Yeah, 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 yeah. 42 emeralds for that. Holy guacamole. Okay, right, well, I'll tell you what, let's start off with the unbreaking. We're gonna need two of these, guaranteed. There we go, and there we go. Fantastic. Alright, and then all we need at this point is 
uh, for, for six mending books, right? Yeah, six mending books for the armor and, of course, the elytras. And, ladies and gentlemen, we now have six mending books to go ahead and buy. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good time. There's one. There's two. And hopefully he's going to re-unlock. Hopefully. Yes. You're going to re-unlock? No? Oh, you're a bothead. Right, we need to go ahead and do something in which case. Uh, so I could technically do this trade, but... Uh, yeah, you know what, we're going to do it. We still have enough books to get ourselves these six mending books. I'm hoping that's going to unlock the mending again. Oh, looks like it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Python is a genius. There we go. I'm having all of them. There we go. All right, so we actually got seven of them, which... It's totally fine. Alrighty, guys. So the question is, what kind of things do we want to go for? We've got unbreaking three on these bits of armor and then protection three on this. I'm thinking we put this on the pants. Oh, that's like it. That is good. That is good. All right, what do we got? Protection three, unbreaking three, and fire protection three. I don't really like any of these, to be honest with you, but I guess we're going to go for this one. That's not great. Okay, what else have we got? Protection four. Yes, protection four sounds good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and finally, we have unbreaking three. If we block off one of these bookshelves, we should be able to get it. Yeah, there we go. Just a tiny bit cheaper. Oh, and that is a good one. Wow, -hoo -hoo! Ah, this is really freaking cheap. Three levels for that. Where's this? Three levels for that. And three levels again. And once again, three levels. I can't believe how cheap these were to put on. Incredible! Like I said, we've gone from 0 to 100 in just a few minutes, guys! <laughs> oh, baby, I'm looking good! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Mr. Donkey, we're looking good! <laughs> Alright, guys, we are geared up to the brim, and we are gonna go on a huge, massive end exploration session, my friends! I cannot be undercut! I cannot be undercut! I need to re-undercut Tango, undercutting me! That's the name of today's episode. That is probably quite literally the title of today's episode on the video title. <laughs> oh, dear. But look at that. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Just mending and unbreaking on pretty much everything. Oh, wait. That actually is unbreaking on everything. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, guys. Just one more thing to do before we head off, and that is to make ourselves a decent bow. So, we've got power three in here. Uh, that's some breaking, and there we go. Yep, there's the power. That is a terrible price for a power three book. But anyways, it's going to allow us to create, like, a custom bow, which I guess is pretty cool. Believe it or not, he does actually have an infinity book for even cheaper than my villager. My villager does it for seven. This one does it for six, which is very, very good. Uh, yep, there it is. All right, so there's infinity... And finally, I think a little bit of unbreaking would be absolutely fantastic. So, uh, that is Riptide 2, Lock of the Sea, and there is the unbreaking. Yeah! All right, guys. We're going to have ourselves a simply epic bow out of this. <laughs> and there we go, my friends. Power 3, unbreaking 3, infinity. That's all I should need. I've got the ender pile. I've got myself some shulker boxes that I had in my secret, not-so-secret chest. So, that's all looking good. And guys, without further ado, it's time. All right, guys, and it's time for my only usage of an ender pearl in the end. That is why, right, my friends, I have officially banned myself from using ender pearls in the end, aside from to get through to the uh, outer end island. So, yeah. All right, through we go. Um, through we go. Alrighty, guys. So this is actually the same end portal that uh, Izuma, Jevon, and I used. I can't remember which direction we went. I think it was sort of southeastern. We didn't really go north as far as I know. So, I mean, what I'm going to do, my friends, in terms of, like, progression cuts, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of show me looting all of the good loot from any end cities that I do manage to find. And, of course... I'm probably going to try and get myself a, you know, a fairly decent amount of shulker shells as well. For those of you guys unaware, one of the modules we have on the server is every time you kill a shulker, you will get two shells guaranteed. So one shulker killed equals one shulker box gained. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to try and beat Tango's amount of freaking shulker shells as well. That's right. We're going to undercut him and we're going to beat him on the amount of shulker shells we have. <laughs> <laughs> I've always found it incredibly strange how you're literally upside down on the inventory little screen thingy where you can see yourself. <laughs> this is so weird. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty, guys. So I'm pretty convinced at this point that I'm actually generating new end. It seems to be taking a little bit longer than usual for the chunks to generate, which leads me to believe that these haven't been previously explored. Now, I'm going in a northeasterly direction. And yes, I did actually come across a tiny little nub end city. Didn't have any loot rooms, but it had a couple of shulkers. So, you know, I still killed him because that's just what you do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. But hopefully my theory is correct. And any end cities we manage to find are hopefully unexplored. Here's hoping, guys. Oh, yes! All right, guys, our first end city. As per what we normally do, we normally explore the first end city on camera with you guys. Well, mostly. And then I just sort of do many, many jump cuts. Do you know what? I'm actually going to start off with the boat. Because I like starting off with the boat. Right, can I actually make that? Whoop. Oh my god, I could. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, well, uh, I'm going to pick up this dragon head. I'd love to sell dragon heads. That'd be amazing. Right, and end rods are another thing that I really wanted to try and get. Uh, because uh, I did pick up a whole bunch when I was with uh, Jevin and Azuma. But I forgot to claim some. So, yeah. Someone else got them. I'm not actually entirely sure who. But I'm not really too fast. So, yeah. Cool. Hey, shulker shells for the Pythonator. And, of course, guys, we have ourselves a... Uh, what? You're kidding me! Ah, oh, it's been explored! Ugh. Mad Pythonator has activated. No! Although, I don't know, with that said, this might not be so bad after all, guys. There seems to still be a lot of shulkers. Oh my god, that is an insane amount of shulkers. Jeez, man! Holy guacamole! Right, I might actually need to put this on. <laughs> Uh, ooh, yep, there's a lot of guys in here. Oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? Why don't you go ahead and get killed? And in the meantime, I will see... Oh, there are things in here. Uh, I mean, ingots and not very good stuff. I mean, I'll take the gems. Why would I not take the gems? Oh, mending sword. Eh, I think it's going to be diamond or bust at this point, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand this lag, man. That's the second time this season that's happened. I jump off somewhere, try to activate my elytra, and they fail. Brilliant. Thank you, Minecraft. Much appreciated there, buddy. Guys, I don't know where my stuff is. I've just run out of firework rockets. And, well, basically, I'm screwed. I have nothing to my name. Unless this end city in question makes itself known to me. There's only one thing to do at a time like this, ladies and gentlemen. There's no coming back. There's just no coming back, is there? I should have bought more firework rockets. I'll see you guys for another day. Sorry, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what happened? I just came back and I was dead. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm so sorry, man. I walked up to you. You know, I, I wanted to use the farm to do some enchants real quick. So I saw you, right? And I removed the puffer fish from the enchanting t setup, right? <laughs> so, I had the, so I thought it was a brilliant idea to troll you with it and place it behind you to spook you a bit. So... <laughs> It flushed away the lever, and all of a sudden, like a million guardians spill out and destroy us, like instantly, both of us. Oh, oh man! Well, a bunch of stuff has floated to the surface, which I guess is okay. pretty cool. All right. Oh. Do we have cords, so I can come? Uh, yeah. Can coordinates come. is X one fifty, and then Z two hundred. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, it is completely flooded. I'm gonna die again. There's no way I'm not. No. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How did that happen? There's a flaw in your setup, man. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Holy crap. <man. laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> nope. 
This is terrible. I can't get down, bro. <laughs> can you have blocks? Can you have sponges? Something? To we steal the water blocks, from blocks, it? Blocks, blocks, blocks. What have we got? Dirt. Oh, well. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Crap, Hang on a I'm, minute. I'm almost there. And ladies and gentlemen, with this enchantment, we are back up to scratch and ready to go again, guys. But here is the real kicker. Guys, do you want to guess how many diamonds I have left? Do you guys want to guess how many diamonds I have left? One. I have one diamond left. I bought two more Elytra, which means Tango Tech has had over a whopping 100 diamonds from me in this episode for Elytra. I've lost two. I've got one here. I've got one on me. Basically, guys, if I die again in the end and I can't get my stuff back, then we are truly, truly dead and having to start way back from the beginning. Guys, I'm heading back to the end. I'm getting some shulker shells, my friends. I'm getting some shulker shells. It's happening. Oh, guys. At long last, this has just made this entire thing worth it. Wait, did the shulker projectile just pop that off? <laughs> what? I've never heard of that before. That's brilliant. All right, what have we got? Oh my gosh. Yes, our diamond supply is going back up, guys. <laughs> oh, I have needed this, guys. I have absolutely needed this. I have medically needed all of this stuff. Oh, right. I think I'm going to make yet another rule for myself, and that is I don't jump off somewhere to try and activate my Elytra. I try to activate it from the ground or somewhere that I won't fall to my death. So, yeah, not only are we not allowed to end a pearl in this freaking dimension, but also I'm banning myself from um, other stuff as well because, yeah, I'm tired of dying at this point. Hello. Jeez, man. Oh, gosh. Right, well, uh, oh, hey, hi, hi, ho there, hi there, ho there, hello, where are you? Oh, hello, how are you doing there, sir? Yeah! Oh, no, jeez, man. <laughs> Get wrecked, yes! Right, and there's my shulker shells. Fantastic! Hey, the supply has started, my friends, and we found an unexplored one as well. <laughs> oh, and at long last, we have our own ender chest. And the lucky thing is, as part of my enchantment, I actually managed to get Silk Touch. So that is brilliant. <laughs> Whoa. I was not expecting to see this, ladies and gentlemen. I found the world border in the end. <laughs> So one of the things that we have in Season 6 is at the far eastern reaches, there is in fact a world border at 6,000 blocks. And as you can see, yep, there we go, 6,000 blocks. We can't go past it. And uh, yeah, the reason why we've done this, of course, is in case there are any terrain changes or major world generator changes for future updates. So if they come out, we can sort of generate new terrain without there being too much of an issue. Basically, what we're doing is we are future-proofing Season 6 from future updates by having an eastern world border. But I didn't actually realize they had it in the end as well. Well, if they overhaul the end again, then that'll be fantastic. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Well, they're falling at long last, ladies and gentlemen. Right, well, that means I should be able to take down the dragon with relative ease. <laughs> Not bad. And I'm breaking three. Hey, that could work pretty well on this pickaxe. <laughs> nice. You know what? I'm legitimately thinking I could maybe set up an end loot shop. Like, as opposed to people going exploring, like people who don't feel comfortable exploring, they could just buy end loot from whatever shop I may wind up having. Like, I could maybe expand the shulker shop to become an end city loot shop, you know? You can get some pretty cool stuff from the end cities, my friends. You really, really can. So, I don't know. Might be cool to sell iron stuff for one price, diamond stuff for another price. You know, I think, I think it could be a profitable venture. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Hang on a minute. What? There's two end return portals right next to each other. <laughs> what? Well, I can't say I've seen that before. Even today, I learn new things in Minecraft. Weird things that can generate. <laughs> nice. Ah, you see, these are my favorite loot rooms, guys. Not only is there two loot chests and therefore a bunch of loot, but there's also quite a lot of shulkers. So this is a pretty fantastic way of getting... Shulker shells in their masses. Oh, yeah. Damn, 
Awesome, son! That's a good little shovel right there! Woohoo! What else have we got? Unbreaking three, efficiency four, more diamonds! Oh yeah! Wow, this is a pretty cool end city. Not only is there like a whole bunch of rooms, but look how close the boat is! Like, I could probably jump that. I'm probably not gonna try it for the simple fact I don't wanna die, especially with all the freaking loot I've got on me now. But that's that's pretty close. I don't think I've seen one that close before. In fact, hang on a minute. This almost strikes me as maybe two end cities conjoined onto each other. Look at that. There are some weird formations around here, guys. And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen. At long last, I've got my own shulker head. Yay! <laughs> so I used my one, of course, to uh, put on top of the uh, shulker box shop. And now I've got my own back. Hey! hey. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're now on our return trip. I've pretty much cancelled out my X coordinates, so we just need to head in a directly north direction to get home. All 12,000 blocks of it. I mean, hoping, I'm hoping, of course, we'll find an end return portal before then, because that would be fantastic. But uh, yeah, guys, we have got a pretty serious amount of loot to go through when we get back. So guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump cut until I get back, and we're going to go through everything that we managed to get in today's end raiding session of awesomeness. You see, guys, this is the stuff that we managed to get from the end in terms of the, you know, valuable items. Nearly a stack of diamonds, so we've gone from one diamond way back up to nearly a stack, which is fantastic. We've got all of this gold, all of this iron, all of this emeralds. I mean, just, oh my goodness me, look at all this stuff we've got, guys. <laughs> 29 topaz gems. We've got nearly half a stack of some types of gems. Guys, the biggest thing, though is to count up how many shulker shells we managed to get. And I already imagine, oh my goodness me. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure we've got more than Tango at this point. I think if my memory serves me correctly, when I watched this video, he had four stacks of shulker shells in his inventory. I've got nearly six stacks. Ha! Beat that sucker! <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding, of course. I am completely kidding, of course, guys. It's all fun and games. It really, really is. We're all friends around here. Just a bit of friendly competition and banter. But guys, guess what? I'll be able to sell these things on the cheap. We'll be able to finally get the dyed shulker boxes going as well. And guys, I'm even thinking of selling shulker boxes just full of seeds. Because we've got lots of seeds. Uh, yeah, just call it like a, a seed box or a bird food box. We'll dye it white as well. <laughs> and then sell it for like maybe a little bit more in terms of diamonds. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. And with all of those shulker shells, we have finally amended our shop. So five diamonds each or two for eight diamonds for undyed shulker boxes. And we have such a surplus that I've actually had to take one of the double chests from this side and pull it on this side. Because look at the stock, guys. I will not be beaten on price. I will not be beaten on the amount of stock I have. I even have dyed shulker boxes going on here, my friends. Now, of course, there's going to be more colors to come, but these are the ones that were immediately available to me from the flower shop. So, yeah. Guys, we're looking good. We're looking good. And one thing I'd also like to do in the distant future is possibly do specialty boxes like redstone boxes or seed boxes, flower boxes, decorative boxes, all that kind of stuff. I think that would be a fantastic idea. So, guys, I've got big plans for this place. You know, this is just the start of my diamond shulker box empire. It really is. And, of course, like I mentioned, I'd also like to try and do a shop for end loot as well. So, that would be pretty cool. But for now, my friends, time to any episode guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed today's episode please do be sure to drop a like rating it'll really help on myself the channel and the video very very much i mean guys you know what they say right no pain no gain we've had pain and we've therefore had gain oh yeah <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching please do have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are and i'll see you guys in the next one And there we go. <laughs>